Paste. It's about that time again, ladies and gentlemen, for an update to Risk of Rain 2. So previously, the last update to the game was the anniversary update, and with it came their roadmap. This told us what to expect in the next expansion and the time frame that it was coming, which was supposed to be sometime this year in quarter four. Reading through this dev thoughts, however, lets us know that the first expansion to the game is actually being pushed back to quarter one of 2022. Now, of course, we're all a little bit disappointed because we have to wait a little bit longer for the new content coming to the game, but I think everyone would rather have a good product than a rushed one just to meet the deadline. With this expansion also being the first paid expansion to the game, I really don't mind them putting in the extra work and pushing out the game to be released just a little bit longer. Since the last update we got from Hopu, they've added another team member, a community manager, which I think is a very exciting for the future of Risk of Rain 2 content. He even gives a nice little shout out to a very special person on Twitter that likes to post on all the Risk of Rain 2 tweets. Hopu really hasn't had a problem with the community, but adding a manager now just means that they're going to be communicating even more effectively with us. The only real issue that's been happening right now with Risk of Rain 2 has been with the console anniversary update. I personally play on PC, but I've seen the Reddit posts that talk about how bug the update has been, making the game almost unplayable for some. So in this dev thoughts, they talk about the anniversary update patch that came out for the Switch, and with that, some update to the bug fixes. But I've definitely seen that there are still some more that still exist, and hopefully they can address that soon for all of the console players. Now let's get into the teasers. Here's what we can look forward to in the next update. Alternate final boss and stage, two new survivors, unique new survivors to give you a fresh way to experience the game, 40 new items, including the entirely new item tier exclusive to the expansion, nine new monsters, two new bosses, two new elite types, four new stages, three new interactables, and one new alternate game mode. New music and tons of other fixes, changes, and improvements. So just looking off the top of this, the two new survivors, including a unique new survivor to give you a fresh way to experience the game, just means that we're probably looking at one of the old survivors coming from Risk of Rain 1, or one of the survivors that they talked about in the previous updates, which didn't make the cut. With all these new monsters, boss types, elite types, and new stages, interactables, man, this update is looking very promising, and I can't wait for this to come out next year. So with all these new exciting features coming to the game, they gave us a little spoiler on a couple of items that are coming. First, we have the elixir, a common item which heals you for 75% of your health after going below 25%. Next, we have the shuriken, an uncommon item which throws a shuriken every time you use your primary skill. This looks to be a nice item for the melee characters, giving them some range options when they attack, dealing with those pesky wisps. The legendary item is the Pocket ICBM, which lets all missile items and equipment fire an additional two missiles. This stacks, which will increase the amount of missiles it fires, which means that your ATG rockets and disposable missile launchers will be shooting even more rockets. And you know, more rockets, more fun. The new equipment that we're looking at is called Gubu Jr., which spawns a gummy clone that has 1000% damage and 1000% health. <laughs> I'm sorry, that name is just too funny. This item looks to be very interesting because it's a gummy clone, so is this a clone of your character or a spawn of something else, like the Queen's Gland which spawned that beetle that follows you around? It expires in 30 seconds and has a cooldown of 45 seconds, so if you can stack these, could you maybe build an army to fight for you? Anyways, that's all the items that they give us a peek at, and in their closing, they say that they'll be releasing more sneak peeks, so we have that to look forward to. And lastly, in their outgoing picture, they leave us with another ukulele. So this one is not green, and it looks to be two of them. It's not a red item, so this definitely looks to be the new tier of item that they were talking about. This is all exciting to look forward to, and I can't wait for Hopu to release more upcoming content. That's it for this dev thoughts. If you guys want to be updated on the next Risk of Rain 2 content, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.